Mm. Ah, get the great taste of fudge brownie in a bottle. Hello, my friends. My name is Sammy Cake, and welcome to Vlogmas Day. Don't ask about our introduction, it was random. We are currently sending this in my workplace for 50p. Usually, they're £1.30 and they're 50p at the moment. So, I've been buying quite a few of them, but they're delicious, so they're worth it. Hmm. I want you to give me a little beard, though. It might give you a beard. I don't know. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day. So for this week, Vlogmas Day, I'm going to talk about random crap as I do usually. First off, I want to say I completed Life is Strange episode 4 just earlier today. And, oh my god, the ending. I'm not going to spoil it. I mean, saying oh my god, the ending isn't a spoiler, by the way. Because you know... It's gonna be a good ending. It always is. It's always an amazing ending. It's like, oh my god, the ending. So, it's not a spoiler, okay? Don't worry. But this episode went on for so long. I was really like surprised. Like, for about the last five or maybe even six parts of the video of the episode four, I was like saying, okay, this is gonna be the final one. This is gonna be the final one. This is gonna be the final one. And I just end up giving up because I was like, okay, I have no idea when the ending is, so I'm not gonna bother saying it's gonna be the final one. I'm gonna get your hopes up for no reason. So I did that quite a lot, which I shouldn't have done. I should have just like went with it and said, okay, it's this part and let's carry on. But oh wow, um, <laughs> I don't know. It was amazing though. Um, I won't spoil it, so don't worry about that. And if you want to talk about it in the comments below, then feel free to. But don't like be cautious to other people who haven't watched it yet and are waiting to watch it, because there's some people who don't know what happens and don't want to know yet. So be cautious if you do want to talk about it in the comments below. I also recently got paid, which is amazing because. When I get paid, I just spend loads of money, and I've already spent loads of money. I bought three new tops, as you know, I bought two new tops, and I bought pyjamas. And this is one of my new tops, they're amazing. It was six pounds, and my other top was like one pound fifty. I was like, oh my god, that's such a cheap top. That's why I bought it, <laughs> it was cheap, and it looked okay, so, what else? I bought Reggie, because they're cheap. I bought batteries. <gasps> my umbrella! I need to show you my umbrella. I bet that's the last thing you thought you was going to hear in this vlog. I need to show you my umbrella. But if you've seen my Instagram, you know all about it already. But this is my umbrella. It's so pretty. And if you think this is not pretty, wait until you see this. Wow. It lights up in different colours. And there's one rainbow say is rainbows and then this is red as well Ta-da! it's like a lightsaber it's pretty cool it's even got like the handle of a lightsaber so if my umbrella ever breaks i'm gonna take off the light well not the light bit the umbrella bit and have it as a lightsaber because that'd be amazing so this is my umbrella and it also got a little torch at the bottom so look ah sorry i just gave a warning it's got a torch so basically if I walk in the night time, I am safe because I got this trusted little umbrella. So, I absolutely love my umbrella. It's one of the new things I bought. Um, I also bought batteries and socks. That's amazing, isn't it? I'm thinking about buying Dark Souls for the PS3 because I've never got it for the PC, and I would much prefer to record it on the PS3. I'm, I don't know why but I'm turning into a console gamer now. I know. Shameful. I always be a piece of gamer by heart. It's just that I prefer playing some games on a console simply because I like the controls better. I like using the controller and performance so much better if it's on a con console. So. I also bought a few games that I can play in the future on the channel, such as A Bird Story, A Story About My Uncle, or something like that, I forgot what it's called. Uh, Something planet. I I honestly forgotten planet, but I don't think that's it. I don't know what it was anymore. And 
I also bought Honey Pop, and I really want to do Honey Pop. I think that'd be quite funny. And there's another one I bought, but I forgot that was. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I need to start playing with my umbrella. So yeah, I've been playing all these. Well, I haven't been playing. I bought all these games. I've been playing Center Blade more. I still haven't completed it. I got 92 hours on it. Um, this is ridiculous. I think I'm really close to the end now. Really close. I hope so. I better be. And that's about my life. Games, buying crap I don't need. I also bought, um, I've been playing RuneScape a lot lately. I started off doing like, well, ages ago I started doing flipping, which is basically buying stuff and selling it for more. And then I ended up doing like, um, dragon plate bodies, so been making them and then crystal keys and stuff like that. And now I've been doing divination. I'm a level 90 divination, which is pretty awesome. And I also spent money on it because I wanted to get a fire drake. Because it's awesome. Basically, one character takes up one tile. This fire drake is a pet. It takes up four tiles. And it flies. And it's a freaking dragon. How amazing is that? So I had to buy it. I really had to. I know I shouldn't have. But oh well, I have no regrets. So yeah, that's my life on RuneScape. I'm playing that. Um, yeah. Been trying to catch up with everything. It's really difficult though. Like I started watching some Jack Jacksepticeye videos. I binged it for a day and then I just never had the time to binge it ever since. And I really need to make the time. I want to try and edit a week's worth of videos during my breaks off work. So then in three days do seven days of videos. This doesn't sound that bad to be honest. It doesn't take that long to edit videos. It's just that it'll be hard to like... I'm not very good at like, keeping to stuff, basically. I always get distracted. So I want to do that, but I don't know what's happened yet. Anyway, forget all that. I'm going to go on to Vlogmas Day now. I mean, it is Vlogmas Day. I'm going to go on to Cakes Trends. So if you have a question for me for Cakes Trends, use hashtag Cakes Trends down below. You can use it on Twitter as well, since this is the first question for Cakes Trends is from Twitter. But feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer it next time on Vlogmas Day. So let's get started on Cakes Runs and let's start off with this question from Twitter with Legged Luna. Okay, my question is Will you ever play COD BO2? Call of Duty Black Ops tier. No. I don't really like Call of Duty games. I know. That might sound horrible. It's blasphemic. Blasphemic to some people. That I don't like Call of Duty. I just don't like, like, competitive shooter games like that because people just act like they own the world if you if they own you basically and I just hate that sort of feeling I don't want to be like I don't want to be treated as I don't know basically I just don't like the community on those games is why I don't like the games in general maybe if the community was better than yeah and also it's war based so I don't really like war so and shooting like, realistic war games I just don't like. So no, I will never play it, and I just don't like the game, sorry. Sammy asks, would you like to create to you a game when I get a new PC, and what type of games you like? I'm guessing I would say, would you like me to create you a game when I get a new PC? Because if you would be willing to do that, that's absolutely amazing. I would absolutely love if you could. That's, I can't even, like... I don't know, it just seems so weird that you would offer to do that. If you're not offering to do that, then you mean something else and then I sound really stupid right now. But yeah, I would absolutely love it if you could do that. My favourite types of games are like RPG, action adventure type of games, so Zelda of course, um, Skyrim's pretty good, so yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> But seriously, thank you so much for offering to make a game. I just... I can't believe you would want to do that. If that is actually your request. So thank you. <laughs> Sack Attack asks, I just got Steam a few days ago from my iMac. What game would you suggest for an RPG casual gamer? I need to look at my Steam list for this. What's my most played games? So Skyrim would be quite good. I mean... You might argue it's not exactly casual, but I kind of think it is sort of casual because you're really like going slow pace, you're taking it at your own pace, you don't have to like 
rush into it and you can like adventure as much as possible. You can go on loads of quests. Skyrim is pretty good for that. Same goes for Fable. Mm, it's not actually RPG, is it? Oh. I'm not doing RPG games, I'm doing actual adventure games. But uh, Fable's quite good. Resetia? That's a game probably a lot of you haven't really heard of. Resetia? R E C E T T E A R. It's basically you own a shop and then you go on these quests in the dungeons to gather more items to sell in your shop. Which is actually a really cool game. I got 63 hours on it. So, it's like a low performance game as well, so you might like that. Starbound. I can't even remember if there's any leveling system on that. But Starbound's quite cool. It's like Terraria, so you just build stuff. And you go to different planets as well, which is pretty cool as well. I don't have many RPGs. Dark Souls, of course. Although that's not very casual, is it? <laughs> that's like the opposite of casual. Um, yeah. If we don't want casual, then Dark Souls is okay. But if you want casual, stay far away from Dark Souls. Rogue Legacy. That <sighs> does that have a leveling system? I don't know. You keep dying. And then you can like upgrade stuff with the money you get inside for the castle you have to go in. It can be quite good. You might like that. I don't know. I have done a video of Rogue Legacy on my A to of gaming. So everyone check that out. It's up to you. But I don't know. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. I really am not. But it's hard to tell which is art. Well, it's not hard to tell, but... Some games like to say that RPG when we use action adventure because there's no leveling system on it or anything. But maybe one of them would be good for you. I don't know. Next question: Black and Rose, Random Four. What would you say to a first-person Oculus Rift supported Animal Crossing game? Thanks for always cheering me up. Would love to know you better, my friend. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, it's like I can actually like interact with friends. I could be like face to face to my friends. Also. It might get a bit freaky having like animal friends in front of me. Oh god, I'd be on all the drugs, wouldn't I? <laughs> but yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool. Oculus Rift. I actually really want an Oculus Rift. I should save up for one, but PS4 first. Although I think at this point I'm gonna say I'm gonna get PS4 for Christmas, but I'm not sure yet. But anyway, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Say for Saberkin asks, do you have a cat or dog? If you do, what's the name? If you don't, are you gonna get one? I have a doggy. Uh, she is called Molly. She's a Border Collie Cross Labrador. I don't think she'll come up by now. She's very excitable. She's a very hyper dog. She's a lovely dog. I was hugging her loads earlier. And I love her to bits. But yeah, I have a dog. She's called Molly. She's awesome. She's the best dog ever. I've got like a secret playlist of Molly dog. So you can watch that if you want. I might, I, I think it's unlisted so you can see visions of it. I've, if I remember, I'll put a link to it in the description so you can see her. James adds, if you could add an upgrade to a computer, what would it be and why? What sort of upgrade are you talking about? Like, um, like internal ones, so like a better graphics drive or better processor or stuff like that. Honestly, at the moment, if it's one of those, I would love to have an SSD. Because, is it SSD or SDD? I always get mixed up. But yeah, I would love to have one of them. Because at the moment, I'm old school. I'm using hard disk drives, so I hate SDD. So yeah, I think it's an SDD. I would love to have that on my laptop, but honestly, I would probably prefer having a whole new laptop. Or move on to an actual computer. Because I'm not moving around as much nowadays. Especially even when I move house, I probably move around even less than so. It'd be perfect having a desktop computer. And who wears those fucking gypsy star? You're not allowed to know, especially if you're a girl. You gotta be flying mad if you think I'm gonna tell you. Maybe if you get me McDonald's though. I like McDonald's. That was a, like a hint of what I saw, by the way. If you couldn't tell. I was trying to like make it so you had to decipher it or something, but <laughs> whether you can get it or not, I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway, that's it for Cakes Jones. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a question for me, it's Cakes Jones down below. And that's going to be it for Vlogmas Day. I've got like seven minutes of recording left, so I've got to do this quickly. So, 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like, comment, subscribe. All of it, so I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Follow my social media, stand below my dear. And that's it for this video of, of Vlogmas Day. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye bye! We must be adults now, but we still have curfew. Up. That seems really when are you going to finish that animation you were working on? Oh, yeah. I just call him lovely. He's just to me. Oh, yeah. I know it's a Life of Strange then because I've been so used to saying Life of Strange for the last few recordings I have done recently. Oopsie!